it's just with Kinder Stampo. And today I'm going to show you a fun stamping technique. It's called um, two-step stamping. And it's a really, really nice technique. It leaves a really sweet detail on your projects. And um, I know a lot of times we go to our craft store and we see these stamps that say two steps on them. And we kind of shy away from them because we think they're a little bit too much work. Especially if we haven't been stamping for a long time. Um, it's not typically the stamp that I would gravitate to, but um, you'll see that they're really, really easy to do, and it leaves a really, really nice detailed um, image on your project. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you the items that I'll be using, and then I'll show you what the wrong way of doing um, two-step stamping is, and then the correct way of doing it. So the stamp set that I'm using is by We Are Memory Keepers, and it's a two-step leaf stamp. It comes with two stamps. It comes with a background stamp, which is the shaded one, and the outline stamp, which is the just the outline with the clear images in the center. And this one is from their vintage blue collection. You're going to also need a piece of paper. So let's assume that this is our project sheet. And on this side, I'm going to show you the incorrect way of doing it. On this side, I'll show you the correct. And then you're going to need a piece of scrap paper also. So we'll put that over to the side. You're going to need uh, an acrylic block and also a stamp pad. In this case, I'll be using my chocolate chip stamp pad. So let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and open your stamp pad and put this over to the side. You're going to take your background image and put it on your acrylic block. And you're going to press generously into the pad to make sure that all of the areas are covered. And since these are clear, you can see how it's nicely covered. The next thing you do is you're going to press onto your project sheet. So I'm going to start with the incorrect side. And this is what I would normally do. There goes my incorrect side. And then I would take off my background stamp. And then I would put on my outline stamp. And again, I would just press into the pad and see that it's covered correctly. Then position it over my background stamp and ink down. Okay, so you see that looks really, really great also. It's just really dark so the outline is not um, very visible. So that's not really the way that this two-step process should work. So let me show you how the correct way is. You're going to go ahead and put your background stamp on again. This time we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Just dab into the stamp pad, make sure it's fully covered. And this time, we're not going to put it directly onto our project. We're going to stamp off. So we're going to stamp off on a piece of scratch paper, like that. And you see we have this image. We'll put this over to the side because we won't be using that. And then we're just going to press the same background stamp onto our project page. So here we go. Just like that. And what it does is it leaves a beautiful um, shadowed image of that same stamp, stamp. So we'll take this off. The next thing we'll do is we'll take our outline stamp, put it on here. Oops. Then we're going to press it onto our stamp pad again. Make sure it's nicely covered. Position it over the image. Make sure it's in the right place. Press down and remove it. So now you see the difference between the incorrect side and the correct side. When I first started doing um, two-step stamping, I would always do it this way and I never stamped off on a scratch paper and I never understood why my projects didn't look the way other projects did and it was simply because I wasn't stamping off. So um, whenever you're doing this, the two-step process, always remember to stamp off your background image onto a scratch piece of paper then stamp it onto your project and then put your outline over the shadowed image of the background stamp. So I hope you guys um, enjoyed this quick technique and I look forward to sharing new ideas with you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.